What is up guys? We are back with another BIOS video and today we're checking out the BIOS here on the ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero. As I always say, this BIOS is going to be pretty much the same across ASUS' entire X570 line. Settings are going to be a little bit different from board to board as well as like the skin. So this is an ROG board. So you can see we have this red skin here. Now we're in easy mode. You can swap between advanced and easy mode by just hitting F7 um, or you can just click down here. Easy mode has pretty much everything that you're gonna want, you know, when you first boot up your system. So, you know, you have all your information here on your processor, um, your speed, your memory, everything like that. We have our CPU temperature running here in real time, core voltage and our motherboard temperature. DRAM status, so you can see our memory that we have installed. You can see our storage information here. You can see our DOCP. Um, ASUS still calls it DOCP. It's basically like your XMP profile, and you can either disable it or you know enable your profile. Again, that's one of the first things you're gonna wanna do when you first boot up your system is enable your XMP profile. You can do that right here. Um, under fan profiles, this shows all of the active headers on the board. We only have one running, which is our CPU fan right here. Here you can see your fan curve for your CPU fan, and you can actually go into Q fan control and set your curves and set, you know, silent, turbo, full speed, or manual. You can also click this optimize all, and this is going to run a test on all of your fan headers and then you know, set the appropriate curve for what that, you know, what that might be after it runs the test. Over here, we have easy, easy system tuning, so you can go ahead and set pre-configured profiles depending on your processor. Over here, we have boot priority. We only have one drive installed, but if we had more than one drive installed, we could easily drag and drop them um, to set up your boot priority very simple to do right here. We have uh, an easy tuning wizard right here up top. We have search and we have um, Aurora. So the one thing I really like about this is you have BIOS level control of the uh, RGB LEDs on the board. So by default, they're gonna be on. So as soon as you connect power to this board, the RGB lights will turn on. And after you turn power off, um, you know, you shut down your system, the RGBs will still remain on. So you can actually turn them off at a BIOS level, which I do like. And I also don't like the idea of just wasting power when my system is turned off. So I like to have them off when, you know, when I shut down my system. So that is easy mode. Again, everything that you need, you have boot priority, you have fan profiles, you have your DOCP or your XMP profile. That's pretty much all you would really want to do if you just kind of wanted to, you know, install your system, get everything up and running and go. Now for everybody who wants to do some system tuning and stuff like that, you're of course going to be doing that in advanced mode. We hit F7 to jump into there. Um, right here we have our main screen. Pretty much all of the other information that we saw on the easy mode. We do have our BIOS version and everything like that too. So it's kind of important if you're upgrading BIOS or you're not sure which BIOS you're running, it is right here. Also on the side here, you will see a real time hardware monitor. So we can see everything that we're running, you know, in real time. We do have a My Favorites right here. And if I click it, we only have memory frequency and tweakers paradise there. You can add and remove things from this list. So if there's a certain setting that you set all of the time, you can go ahead and put it in here. So maybe you don't have to go through two or three menus to get to it. Um, so you can see we put memory frequency here. Um, so I don't have to jump through multiple menus to get to it. Um, over here is extreme tweaker. And this is where you're gonna do all of your different settings and different tweaks and things like that. So, um, you know, we do have our targets here, which is really great to see. So if I change a setting, I kind of want to know what my target is, like what CPU frequency am I shooting for? What, what memory frequency am I shooting for? Things like that. You know, they have it here. So, you know, when you change a setting, you can do that. Now for most people, if you're going in here and you want to just enable your XMP profile, you just put this to DOCP standard and then you select your XMP profile right here. If you want to do manual overclocking, you hit manual, you can, and then you can change everything. So you can change your BCLK, your performance enhancer, you can do that, you know, memory frequency, uh, core performance boost, you can turn that on and on. And then you can have your ratio here and you can, you know, of course, change all of that. For most people, you're either going to have it on auto or more than likely, you're gonna have it on DOCP standard. Um, 
you know, for your, your XMP profile. That's what most people are gonna go ahead and do. As we go down here, you know, you can see all of the things, per precision boost overdrive, DRAM timing control, um, external Digi Power Plus, or Digi Power Control, Tweaker's Paradise, and then all of your voltages. So if you are overclocking, of course, this is where you're gonna change your voltage. You would set it to manual and then set it to what you would want it to be. Very, you know, very easy to do. So you have everything here to really go in and tweak everything the way that you want it. It's all right in here. It's not hard to find either. Um, and it has all the settings. You know, you can go into your timings for your memory. You can set your DOCP. You can do everything right in here. If you go over to advanced, this is of course everything else that's on the board. Um, so TPM stuff is right in here. CPU configuration, again, this is like everything, all the settings for your CPU that don't have to do with tuning as much. You know, you can turn off different modes and everything like that. You can, you know, do all that. You can turn it on or off here. SATA configuration, this is all the ports on the board and you can enable them, um, enable, you know, NVMe RAID, things like that. You can do it all here. And again, you have options for each connection on the board. So you have all of that. Onboard devices configuration. So this is your HD audio controller. You can set your bandwidth uh, for your PCI Express slots, RGB LEDs. Um, again, this is what I talked about before. So when it's in a working state, you know, you can change and set those things. A Q code LED function, you can have it do postcode only or you can disable it. Um, so if you don't want postcode, you just don't want it, you can turn it on or off. Um, you can turn on your LAN ROMs and things like that. You can turn on your Wi-Fi. You can turn on Bluetooth on or off. Um, all of the expansion slots you can enable or disable as well. So you have all that stuff you can do there. APM stuff, PCI subsystem stuff, USB configuration you can go ahead and go into. Um, and in USB configuration, you can see what you have connected. You can see, you know, you can, all the stuff's turned on by default, but you can enable or disable USB, uh, you know, legacy USB support, and you can enable or disable port by port on this. So if there's some reason you need to disable a USB port, you can go ahead and do it here. Network stack, um, the smart information for your drive. So you can see we have our drive here and all of the information for it. NVMe configuration, we don't have an NVMe drive installed, but if we did, all the information for it would be there. And then we have AMB, CBS, and PBS, which we won't get into, and AMD overclocking. Um, you have to go through a bunch of prompts to go through these, so we won't go through those. Oops. And then we'll go over to monitor. So this is, again, your real-time monitoring. Um, you can see our temperatures and everything like that, all of the speeds, all of our voltages, everything like that. And again, you can also access QFAN through here. Um, this isn't the nice, you know, uh, QFAN. This is the one you have to kind of set up, you know, with just, it's not as graphically nice as the other settings, but uh, you can set everything up here pretty easily um, and do all of that. And under boot, uh, we have boot configuration, secure boots, you know, your boot options. And then we do a boot override. And I always talk about this when I do my BIOS videos. You know, most of you should be installing Windows from a flash drive. So you go into your BIOS, you know, you enable your XMP profile, you do all that kind of stuff, and then you boot from your flash drive first. But instead of making it your boot option, what you actually do is you just do boot override. So then when Windows restarts, it's going to go ahead and, you know, boot to your normal SSD or whatever you have installed. That way you don't have to worry about pulling that drive out. It just saves you a step. So I always like to see boot override. Under tool, um, we have ASUS's Easy Flash 3 utility, which allows you to easily flash your BIOS, no problem. ASUS Secure Erase. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna secure erase any SSD. So if you're getting rid of an old system or you're selling an SSD or something like that, you wanna secure erase it, you can do that here. You have user profiles, you can see your SPD information. Um, you can see your graphics card information. And then you have your Armory Crate um, which if we go into this, download and, download and install Armory Crate is enabled by default. For most people, this is great. For, if you're a security freak, this is not great. So as soon as you install Windows and as soon as you connect to the internet, this will, in, or will download and install Armory Crate, which 
downloads all of your drivers and everything like that, which I think is great because it makes it easy for people. You don't want to download each driver one by one. It just does it all at once. But if you're, you don't like the idea of that, you can actually disable it right here in the BIOS. And then under exit, we have load, optimize defaults, which I like to see, save changes and resets, discard changes and exits, and all of that. Um, so this BIOS, like I said, has everything. It's very easy to go through. I love having the My Favorites just for the fact that, you know, I want to put a setting in here. I have it. I also like the easy mode just for the fact that most people don't need to dive down into the BIOS and they just want to enable their DOCP or their XMP profile. They want to set their boot priority, maybe set up some fans. You know, they have the easy, you know, the easy mode here. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. So we'll see you guys in the next video.